Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Chiru Tai. I'm the founder of MedEx uh, Special Population Training Institute. And today, uh, it's our honor to welcome Dr. Sherry uh, to give us a really uh, brief introduction about herself and her research specialty. And uh, more importantly, why did uh, Dr. Sherry decide to partner with MedEx? Okay. So first of all, uh, Dr. Sherry, welcome. Could you please uh, give us a really quick introduction about yourself? Sure. Um, I've spent my career studying diabetes and exercise and helping educate people about those topics. Um, that's the quick version. Um, a little more background. I actually got most of my training. Uh, I got a PhD in exercise physiology and particularly um, exercise metabolism um, from the University of California at Berkeley, or Cal Berkeley. And um, I, I've done pretty much all my research in diabetes and exercise. I've been involved with a lot of organizations here in the United States, the American Diabetes Association, the American College of Sports Medicine, uh, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, and other groups that are really, uh, and uh, American Council on Exercise, and have worked both uh, in terms of research, promoting research in, in these areas, and, and also um, just teaching people about exercise and, and diabetes and prediabetes. And, why it's important to know more about these topics. Great. So uh, basically, your research specialty is focusing on um, diabetes and exercise, right? So why why do you choose this topic? Uh, you know, it, it partly personal interest, partly professional interest. So um, I, I, I myself have type 1 diabetes, which I developed at the age of four. And when I was a teenager, I used to go and visit my maternal grandmother and uh, she had type 2 diabetes, and I remember trying to help her. She was on a diet to lose weight, and I said, I'll be your personal coach. And so I actually had set it up to help her weigh out her food, and I had her running laps around her backyard and weighing her in and helping her lose weight. And she was paying me money for every pound she lost. And in the first week, she lost uh, quite a bit of weight, which is not uncommon. I know that now, but at the time I thought, wow, I'm a rich kid. And I thought, well, maybe this is my calling. This is something I enjoy doing for other people. And so I wanted to learn more about it though, why, why it works, why it always made me feel better, why it helps manage diabetes, why it helps prevent diabetes and just everything about it. So it really took, it didn't take getting a PhD to do all that, but in, in order to do the research, it, it really did. And I've really enjoyed that, that career. Wow. So uh, could you share about like, how did you find out like uh, the exercise is really important for diabetes patients? You know, a lot of it I didn't know until there were ways to measure blood glucose. Um, in the United States, it was in the, the 1980s when blood glucose meters first became available. And so I went a number of years without having any way to, to measure it. I, I just knew I felt better. And I didn't have that validation until I, I got a blood glucose meter that allowed me to, to check that and to know that I could actually lower my glucose with most types of exercise, there are exceptions, of course. Um, and so research, you know, since that in, in those ensuing decades of, has all over and over again um, shown how important exercise is, regular activity to help lower people's, what they call the A1C or their overall uh, glucose values um, and to allow them to remain more independent and strong and able to do what they need to do just to get through life. And so I actually saw my grandmother suffer through a lot of the potential health complications that can be associated with long-term diabetes, the cardiovascular problems. And when I saw her go through all those, I thought, we need to know more about this. I, I don't want this to be my future. And I want to, and I would have done is everything I've learned on ways to prevent complications, ways to live healthy, improve your quality of life that I've just tried to share with other people. So that's, that's really where it all came from. A uh, really personal experience that I wanted to, to share professionally. Wow, yeah, that's, that's so nice. And uh, we're, like, we're lucky to have you, right, in the, in the, in the industry. Yeah, so uh, my next question will be, um, wh why do you think like learning diabetes exercise knowledge is essential? Because some people might think that, oh, we just tell uh, the patients to exercise, right? So how, why, why is it important to learn? Well, number one, we know that technique's not effective. Just telling people to exercise more is not developing a, a smart way to do it and to make sure that they participate. But really, I think 
I, I'm over the years, I've seen too many ways that, that you can actually hurt somebody with diabetes if you don't know what you're dealing with. I'm just to give you a quick example. Uh, people with diabetes are actually more prone to overuse injuries than average people. And so I've seen personal trainers work with people that don't have diabetes and give them overuse injuries and um, just cause problems by not having the knowledge base to know how to deal with it, like an older person or uh, a sedentary person or somebody who has a joint issue or something. So it's important to really understand what are the specifics. And a lot of people with diabetes do have complications like loss of nerve function in their, their feet, for example, and they can, they're more prone to injuries due to that, um, that even can lead to amputations. And so these are really important things that, that um, coaches need to know, personal trainers need to know, medical professionals need to know, and even just people who like to exercise, they really need to know what they can do to prevent such problems from happening. And I, I believe that most problems are actually preventable with the right type of training and the right coaching and so forth. Wow, that's, yes, that's great. And um, so uh, do, do you think like uh, learning this kind of knowledge or this type of like expertise is important for what type of uh, like, uh, like trainers or is it important for medical professionals or is it important for athletes? Well, what do you think about that? Like, is it important for all of them? I, I believe that it's, it's important for everybody. And again, no matter what angle you're coming at it from, whether you're the one doing the exercise or you're helping someone else to do the exercise, you want that person to be able to do the right kind of exercise so they, they don't get bored with it, they don't get injured from doing it, they don't get demotivated, um, and they don't quit. I mean, those are the, the main things that, that cause all sorts of people to drop out of exercise programs and exercise and physical activity is only going to be effective in managing diabetes and helping people be healthier if they do it regularly. So the key is really to figure out how to help people do that. You can arm them with all the knowledge that, um, I mean, knowing that it's good for them to do, but unless you can help them achieve a way to do it regularly, it's not going to do them any good, just knowing that. Yeah, yeah, so true. And can, can you share with us about uh, more of your experience, like working with uh, uh, prestigious organizations such as uh, ACSM? Because I heard uh, you, you actually worked there and uh, help them to create the exercise guideline before, right? So can you share more experience on that with us? Right, I, I have um, always been a professional volunteer with the, the main organizations that kind of tie into my specialties and ACSM is certainly one of those. And what I had done for many years is to try to get the organizations to work together like ACSM with ADA because so much of the uh, people, so many of the people around the world in the United States, Taiwan, have diabetes or they have pre-diabetes and they may not even know it. So you kind of are dealing with a, a very large group of people who you want to have exercise, but you need to, they need to understand what could happen if, um, if they aren't doing it correctly um, and so forth. But so what I did specifically with ACSM is that I, I got them to partner with the American Diabetes Association back in 2010 on the very first position statement that we put together uh, that was a joint one. Um, it, it was about type 2 diabetes, individuals with type 2 diabetes and being physically active. And, and actually, we just updated that in the, the latest version of that, um, a new consensus statement. Just It's just with ACSM uh, on exercise and physical activity in, in individuals with type 2 diabetes just came out um, this past week. And so um, it, basically January 2022 um, is when it came out. And that has kind of furthered what we knew in these different areas and added to um, many of them with the research that's happened in the ensuing decade or so since uh, that first position statement came out. What I've also done for ACSM is create a, a course that's targeted specifically at people uh, who are um, personal trainers or fitness professionals and even uh, medical professionals, healthcare professionals for them to learn how to work with clients who have diabetes or pre-diabetes when it comes to exercise and being physically active. So I, I help them develop that. Many, many trainers in the United States and fitness professionals do take the, that course to, to gain that knowledge. Yeah, so I just went through the, the guideline you just uh, published right last week, right? Several weeks ago, and I found it very, useful and very inform informative and super helpful like for trainers uh, for the coaches like me to you know uh, train with the right mindset train with the under the the correct knowledge you know uh, dealing with those kind of patients so yeah so it's very yeah again very lucky to have you you know 
Well, yeah. that's exactly why I wanted to partner with MedEx. Um, because I felt like you had the reach into that area. And I, I know it's just the knowledge is so essential. Um, you have a lot of fitness professionals there. You have a lot of cases of people with diabetes and prediabetes. And, and certainly the uh, population can, can get healthier as a whole. Um, we all work together to spread this knowledge around and, and help people get more active safely and effectively. And that's really my, I'm an educator at heart as well as being a researcher. So. I, I like to be able to pair those two things together and really help people. Yeah, uh, that's so important. And um, I think due to the uh, the COVID situation right now and due to the uh, time zone difference, so we might not be able to invite you to come to Taiwan like uh, recently, but, you know, we, we hope to have you uh, maybe next year or, you know, in the near future to have you and in Taiwan and to give us uh, some lectures and some workshops, you know, yeah, that that would be our honor to to have you in Taiwan. Yeah. Well, I'd be happy to do that. I mean, I, I really um, have enjoyed my trips to Asia. I haven't made it to Taiwan yet, but I did make it to mainland China. So I, I'm familiar with Asia and I did make it to uh, South Korea right before COVID hit. I went to the, uh, the IDF meeting and was able to present there, thankfully before COVID had really broken out. So, um, We've all gotten used to Zoom, and I'm happy to interact with people this way. It's much more fun to do it in person, but you know, however we have to do it, we have to do it in the meantime. Yeah, so uh, right now uh, we're planning to have a workshop like uh, in Taiwan, on-site workshop, but in meanwhile, we are having uh, some webinars or some like uh, tiny sessions, like Q&A sessions with, with Dr. Sherry, and just to uh, educate more trainers or medical professionals in Taiwan. Yeah, so uh, it's uh, great news. Uh, for all of us, and we're looking forward to it. And thank you, yep. Sherry, for your time. Looking forward to sharing much more with you guys. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.